Where's the jacket from? Uh, I'll tell you when we go to a game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's have Run It Back I NBA my Insider. On air. Oh man, the Riz is strong with this one. Run It Back yeah. with Shobes when we get back. Shams. All right, uh, East versus West again. What's going on here? We've got the NBA returning to East versus West format for the 2024 All-Star Game in Indianapolis. Shams, we are so lucky to have you. Uh, what do I need to know about this? Great being back. I mean, I, I think the league has, has had issues the last couple, couple seasons as far as getting players to play hard in the All-Star Game. There's a lot of coasting in the All-Star Game. Okay. But, but now the league is trying to bring it back, East versus West. This is the old school style. No more player drafts. So, okay, in the NBA, what's happened the last several years mm -hmm. is players like the top two, let's say LeBron James and Kevin Durant are captains of the All-Star team. The most votes, they draft their team. Right. And there's always that last guy that doesn't get, you know, that, that has to sit on air. Oh, I always feel bad And they for that televise guy. it. They okay. televise it on TNT. Um, so no more of that this season. Yeah, we're going to go to a TNT game, you and I, this year. I, we decided. I, I, think, I think that's in the cards. You sent me the schedule. We're figuring it cards. out. World, we're going to go to a game. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> All right, I want you to, you know, you were here a couple of days ago, and you, you were really overhyping a rookie, and I said, I don't like that. I like, and you say, Wemby, Wemby, Wemby's all in the, this is going on, all this, and then he was like, whatever. He had the glasses on, he looked like he was straight out the Matrix, he was Keanu reeves -ing. and then last night, like, how, you know, debut against the he, Mavs, your thoughts? He was, he's a rookie. Okay. He was in foul trouble last night, and, and if you watch these highlights in the fourth quarter, he had nine points out of his 15 in the he fourth three, quarter. I saw that. He, he had five fouls. It's just difficult when you're playing with foul trouble. And I think that that is something to monitor. Anytime there's a rookie player, yeah. like he's going to get guys challenging him physically. Grant Williams, the Mavericks player, 17 points, six rebounds. But he's, he's, he's a big dude. And I think him challenging um, Wembenyama defensively, offensively, putting him in foul trouble, um, really getting into his body, I think that, that to me is, gonna, is a sign of things to come. Derek Lively sounds like the guy I should have been rooting for. Lively what, what was so lively, lively last night. He was all over the place. 16 points, Is 10 rebounds. Is he the rookie of the year, Shams? I mean, he might be in, 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 the, in the running, for in, sure. He, he, guys, he might be in the running. You heard it here first. He might be. He might be in the running. <laughs> in the running. Um, okay, the James Harden. Oh, gosh. Even I know that James Harden. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's get into this. It's let's, just let's well, like the psychology this. of it, the humanity of it, the Sixers beef, like... He wants to return to the team. They don't want. They've got the. They got the 76ers got a big game against Giannis and Dame. I know that it's tonight. Big game. What's going on with James Harden? Like what? You've been. You've been on top of this story. Yeah. So James Harden was away from the team for 10 straight days. Then he comes back to practice, and he wants the team is going to go on this road trip to start the year in Milwaukee and Toronto. Right. Milwaukee tonight. Toronto on Saturday. James Harden wanted to travel with the team. He made multiple efforts to go travel. He had six bags packed with him, ready to go for this trip. And the Sixers asked him to stay home, work out in Philadelphia, don't come with us. But I think, more than anything, don't be a distraction for us on the road. Yeah. And he wanted to go, and the team told him not to. He's going to work out, but I, I, he doesn't want to play anytime soon. How does soon. this and, end? Okay, what do you think? What, I don't, what's, I'm what's, asking, what's, what's, you, you know. So if you're, if you're James Harden, you call Daryl Morey, your general manager, your boss, potentially, a liar. The boss who he, like, at the clubs has the a signs and is like, I don't love you, like Dar that guy? Yeah, the Daryl Morey is a liar signs. Well, the By the way, James Harden wasn't even at the, at the club when, the, when that sign is that being passed around. So that's a fact. I got bad special, information. Special, special fun fact for, for Up and Adams. Were you at the club with him? Uh, I don't, I'm, you know, I can be everywhere, but I was not there that night. No. You had the bottle no. service girls texting no, you no, and telling no. you that James Harden False. wasn't there? False. Uh, okay, so he wasn't there, but so. Could be a source. So how does this end? I, I think inevitably this, this probably ends with him getting traded. Whether that's right now or at the trade deadline. I mean, he's got a $35.6 million expiring contract. Wow. So if, if, if the Sixers don't want to trade him to the Clippers now and take the Clippers best offer, which is expirings. Um, you know, salaries, a first-round pick, an unprotected pick, swap. If they don't want to take that now, come trade deadline. Why would they want to take that? Why? Give, give me the sell. No offense to anybody involved. What bridge hasn't he burned in the NF, in the NBA? Well, I don't. I, listen, he took a fifteen million dollar pay cut last summer. So shout out to pay cuts, K. You know, I don't. Would you? Would I take a pay cut? Yeah. <laughs> this isn't about me. So, so James Harden, that's what I'm saying. So the normal human being probably would not have taken a yeah. massive pay cut. He went from $48 million down to 33 last summer, and he did it so the team could get better. Got and it. he And he was getting vibes from the team that will look out for you. You know, we'll, we'll take care of you. And he feels like that wasn't done. So there's, in your estimation, because I really don't know enough about this, so I'm asking, he, he does not suit up as a 76er. 
I do not believe, now you never say never, right? right. Like I, I don't want to come here and say James Harden never gonna, but you never say never, but I, I don't see him playing anytime I want to see the Philly fan reaction to that, him. That would, like, we had Lou Williams on I running want, back, yeah. shout out running back, uh, uh, FanDuel TV, yeah. uh, leads into Up and Adams, <laughs> great show. <laughs> but uh, I, I think Go. Lou Williams was on and he was saying that like James Harden is in a tough position in Philadelphia. Yeah, there's, there's no world fans, where they embrace him. And so, I, I mean, you know, Lou Williams wants James Harden to suit up, but he also knows that if he suits up and plays, that fan reaction is going to be worse pretty, than Ben Simmons. I don't Look know at how much NBA I, I, I know. I don't, I don't know, but that's a great analogy. I don't know if worse than Ben Simmons because, uh, but yeah. the fact that he's there and if he's playing for your team, it, it probably is going to be worse because it's live and in the moment. I hear we're going to the Lakers game. We are going to go to the Lakers game. Me, Michelle Beadle's going. Wow. Ch Chandler Parsons wow. may or may not go. Kay, would you would you come tonight? Uh, yeah, I wasn't asked though, so there's there's that. Um, where are your seats? I see. I, I follow. That's how every girl in LA would answer that question. I, where are your seats? You want to go to this game? Where are your seats? Know. Where are you sitting? I don't sitting? even know. You don't even know. I follow you just show up. I just. Well, you're not sitting in the press box eating like cold chicken nuggets. I know that I, I, much. I might be. No, you're not. You're shout not out cold that. chicken nuggets. Um, Don't <laughs> hate. And apples Don't and peanut butter. Don't okay, hate. Shams, I got to get to the bottom of something. This Travis uh, Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift stuff. Some people saying it's, a, it's a PR relationship, it's true love. You tell what me. Do you, know? You, tell, you know, I love love. I'm a fan of of, of love, but you, no, no, you're no. the NFL Just, insider. You know more than, you want to know how I'll find out? This is Sean's phone, everybody. This is this is this, this is, is a crime. This listen, being you you are not playing you are not playing man coverage this on is your phone. Welcome right to now. you want to talk a little NFL? <laughs> like you it, is this where all the secrets are? Yeah. Look at can we just get a close up of Sean's and how nervous he is that I have the cell phone? You can have my phone. Just hide it. Just hide it from the cameras. But um, listen, my perception of it is I'm I want to be a believer. I want to be a believer. So I'm gonna you know Shams. I'm I'm a believer. I don't want to, I'm, I'm just scared believer. to look at, there's some, there's literally, it's buzzing as I'm sitting here. I can't it's believe it. how not. often do you get, I read that article, you're, I mean, you got millions of things going on, this is insane. By the way, do you want to know what your, um, when you call me, what it looks like? No, like I'd love to thing? see, let's, let's test it out. Oh, I think we have it let's, right here, this actually, is what it, this is what comes up. Oh my God, that's beautiful. <laughs> I feel like I could rock that. For sure, that's great. It's that's good, amazing. Right? That's what full we, screen. Every time Shams calls me, Jimmy that's, Butler. That's the full Jimmy Butler. Shout out Jimmy Butler. Do you Yo, like Kate, how much NBA? Kate, I know? What's your day to day like? I want to know your day to day. <laughs> you you were stuck in traffic. When we're on the up and having up Shams show, then, I'll, then we'll on, be able on, to on talk about this. Okay, listen. So, you, do you think it's a real thing, the relationship? I, I personally, you know, I'm I'm over optimistic person. I'm a glass half full person, so I, I do. I do believe. Okay. But what, what's your opinion? Listen, speaking of Taylor, Micah what's Parsons commented, I think it's real. I think they're having fun. Why wouldn't they? Like, young love, go for it. Um, speaking of Taylor, Micah Parsons said that Travis's stat line in games Taylor Swift is at versus one she didn't, she doesn't attend is crazy. Do we have time to listen to this? We have one minute. Let's see. So it's obviously not Taylor Swift. But I'm going to tell y'all one thing. When there is a bad girl and she's in attendance and she's watching you, that gives you an extra boost of confidence. When you pull up to the gym and your girl's with you, I don't care who's in front of me. Like, without a doubt in my mind, Kawhi Leonard could be in front of me. I got to give him 30. Now, who's the most baddie motivated NBA player in the in the NBA that I need to know about? Because clearly Travis is motivated by the baddie. Yeah. I. Who takes the crown? Oh, man. <laughs> I, I mean, that's a loaded Sean's question. Sean's is right never now. coming back on the up and down. That's a loaded show. question. I'm going to say Chandler oh Parsons God, when he was an NBA player. The Clippers are getting James Harden. That's what his phone says. You're the best. He's sweating, this poor man. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest up and Adams content right on YouTube.